<laughs> what do I need, Blake? I <laughs> No. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> we're just packing. We're about to pack because we're going to a house for a couple of weeks. And it's going to be awesome. Find that. Well, we made it into the car with all of our stuff. It's actually ridiculous how much stuff we have. Pedro's giving us a lift to Tanya's villa, where we'll be staying for the next 10 days. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. I checked my inbox a few days ago and there was a message from a fan named Tanya. Her and her family own this stunning villa near Lagos and they rent it out. I guess you could say we kind of got lucky because everyone had to cancel their bookings here due to the virus. So we got to take our isolation elsewhere before it became illegal to do so. This place is more of a place for honeymooners. It really wasn't set up for children. But after building a few barricades, this one obviously being a fail, and rigging up a few things here and there, we could relax. Honestly, we were starting to go a little crazy on board and we didn't know how much longer we might be stuck in that marina for. The information we've been given from the government has been really vague and the Maritime Police still won't open the bridge. We've been given no dates as to when we can set sail. So we figured that if we couldn't have an endless horizon and long sandy beaches to stretch our legs, we needed to find the closest thing to that. So here we are in a gorgeous villa in the Algarve countryside. Good boy. That's not my dragon. <laughs> Its claws are too knobbly. Boy. What do you think, Dal? Nah, it looks pretty. You already done that joke. You put the camera on and said it again. Not to the camera. I can tell jokes twice on the camera. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Indian dal for dinner, and it's so hot. I had to just put some coconut milk in mine, but it's delicious. Oh, that's going to be added to my top ten recipes that I rotate. I was just saying to Riley, don't accidentally get Lenny's baby food mixed up with ours because it looks quite similar. <sighs> You're spilling it everywhere. Yes. Hey? Yeah. Uh oh. I gotta be honest, Pants. It's pretty damn good. Thank 11 you. out of 10. Thank you. I'll share the recipe in the <laughs> description below. I'm a bit disappointed that my shorts are staying now, though. Yeah. My Lebowski pants. <laughs> I promise. You can do it. 
Alright, maybe mama needs to help you a little bit. Later. That's it, good boy. That's it, don't hit your head. Good boy, you did it. You're free. You're free. This place reminds me of a romance novel. Everything is so beautiful. I want to take a picture of like every wall and every little tile. It's not Versailles, Elena. <laughs> it's a really cute, quaint little cottage. I'm obsessed. Look at the terracotta, babe. Terracotta. <laughs> so I guess Elena said, but we just had the opportunity to leave the boat for a while. The boat's fantastic. There's nothing that I'd rather be doing at all ever in my life. But um, if we're not going anywhere, the sense of freedom that you've usually got just isn't there. And that's what I most love about the boat. I remember we were stuck once in Marmaris, waiting for upgrades for the boat. And we were just stuck in this place for ages. And that's what it started feeling like at that marina there. And uh, I've got some really bad memories of Marmaris in Turkey, being stuck there for about a month. And like you couldn't swim in the water, same as the marina. And uh, yeah, anyway, we we're, were really happy to be able to come here for, how long will we be here for? 10 days, so a few weeks then. This is Martim, Tanya and Peter, who we would be living next door to. Now, I really should point out here that these guys had been isolating and so had we for a while before we made the move to their place. Initially, we did keep our distance. It was a little awkward, but it felt like the right thing to do. That is until Lenny started running up to everyone on the front lawn and just falling all over him. So you won't see us shaking hands or having big hugs every day, but you might see us standing a little less than 1.5 metres away and uh, that'll be why. <laughs> Riley's scooping the bees out of the pool because he just got bit. Not the bees! Ah! Oh, and you have more on you, babe. They're not bees, but they also bite. Good boy, Lenny. You get them. <laughs> it has been enlightening being able to reflect on perspective or like framing of situations having spent some time in a house now. What I'm talking about is the huge difference between what it feels like when stationary compared to what it feels like when we're moving. The sense of freedom afforded to us by our travels makes our small home feel pretty much as big as the world. When that is taken away from us, we're left with what is literally 17 cubic metres of living area figuratively zero room to manoeuvre and, and a screaming biscuit. It has been so good to be in a house for a while. Obrigado, Tanya. So this house used to actually be a donkey shed and Tanya's parents did it up <laughs> and turned it into an Airbnb eventually. Her dad is a caricature artist so they have all different pieces of his hanging up around the house and they called the house Casa do Pinto which means house of the artist. So yeah, it's got a bit of character, the old donkey shed. It's got a bit of character, the old donkey shed. What? <laughs> 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 What are we doing today, Ralphs? I think we're going for a walk, aren't we? Well, then he got attacked by mosquitoes last night. Dun dun dun. He doesn't like the incline. No, he doesn't. You're okay, we nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
Why don't you want to go down there? Privato. <laughs> Privato. Privato. Yeah, I want to go down there too, Lady, but we're not allowed. What's happening, Riley? Living a European romance novel, eh? Hey? <laughs> Over the next few days, it rained a lot and we fell into a bit of a routine that included a lot of exercise, tag teaming at working on the laptop, more exercise, walking through the paddocks whenever it dried up long enough for us and doing odd jobs around the property. It's become really obvious to me recently just how much being in nature motivates and inspires me. Okay. Us again. Back in front of the bush. <laughs> Everyone's getting to know this bush very well. <laughs> and so you know what this means. We're inviting another patron on board. Congratulations, Lane Painter. We would love it if you could join us this year. Send us an email if you're up for a spontaneous sailing trip with us. Promise we're not weirdos. That's planned months in advance. Yeah, that's, it's, it's not really that spontaneous, but it might yep. be, because as soon as the borders open up, we're going to be like, bam, book your flights, get over here. But we'll obviously give you plenty of time. All so right. <laughs> Unless you're willing to drop everything at the drop of a hat. You can bring a plus one. So we meet up with a bunch of people. You all meet each other and hang out and there's been friendships forged in the past, which has been really cool to see. Yeah. So we'll organise something on land and then each day we'll sort of do a mission on the boat as well. This is a good opportunity for anyone who wants to learn more about what we do, more about sailing, um, who wants to just explore a place they've probably never been before. Hang out. Sing, dance, drink, play guitar, you know, all the cool stuff. <laughs> there are plenty more spots available if you would like to come. If you would like the opportunity, please consider becoming a patron. Next week we're going to do another fun competition where everyone can be involved. Fun. <laughs> Lenny's asleep and we are just, we've Having got about, party. we've got an hour and a half each day in which to enjoy ourselves. Although I and think it's going it. to rain. I think everyone's got a bit of an idea as to what's going on. Congratulations Lane, please get hold of us and um, yeah, if anyone else out there wants to get involved in this thing then head over to our Patreon and, yeah. and think about signing up. Thank you so much. Obrigado. Nanya and I are going to the supermarket and we thought it was the most exciting thing we've done this week so I was going to film it <laughs> because it's Tanya's sister's birthday and um, what are we picking up? How old is she? 20. 20 today. Yay. And what are we having for dinner? Chicken Argentinian style. Nice. And her stepdad has already given us some tequila shots. Yeah. Well me. She's driving. She's very responsible. Yeah. I haven't she hasn't been... had any. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah. Just wanted to include you in our um, very eventful event going on. <laughs> We've just stopped to recycle our garbage and this is strangely satisfying. I mean you can't even try and put it in nicely. It's just gonna smash isn't it? There's no way around it. I want to know. My face ID doesn't recognize me in this mask. Say mum! Say mum! 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 So funny. You're a legend. For in the end we all pay our toll. What are you guys doing? Hello Lenny.
Somebody touch a mask, forget! To be honest, we're actually hungover. It's like 11 a.m. and Riley's, <laughs> Riley's making his spaghetti with bolognese. Me and Tanya went to the supermarket yesterday. The shelves have been like pretty well cleared, but luckily they leave a lot of things that we like <laughs> behind, so we're gonna be fine this week. <laughs> Thanks for cooking good looking. Building an enclosure for ducks. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Started digging down and then this is all, it sounds like limestone in parts, but it's mostly stone. It's like nuts. Get a jackhammer? No, we don't. We ain't got no phone. <laughs> the ducks are in good hands. Duck, 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 duck. duck, duck. Mm. We don't have any experience in, in construction, so it's going to be fun. Oh, I want to know Who are you, my love? Do you see me in your soul? Do you feel me when you're cold? And I want yeah, to know Next week, join us in our villa again. Not sure what's going to happen really because we're pretty much caught up to real time, you'll be pleased to know. I, on the other hand, am shitting my pants. I mean, we could run out of content here, but my OCD brain refuses to miss a Monday app. So wish us luck in pulling content out of our butts. Rally assures me that this is where the best content comes from. This is going to be fun. Lots of love. <laughs>